Hi, I'm Selena. I'm 16 years old and I live in Colorado. I have a very big family. I have nine siblings and we're all very dysfunctional. <laughs> Living in my mom and dad's house with a lot of my siblings and their kids is crowded. Like, really crowded. Right now, there is a total of 18 of us living in the house together. I can't even hear myself talking. I know. <laughs> like, I can't talk to you yelling, Mom. Selena, she's very independent. She wants to do it on her own. She's been that since she was little. My boyfriend's name is Sean, and even though things have been rocky, we've been together since middle school. Me and Selena have been together like five years now. Like, I just knew I was going to have my future with her. I just knew it. How you feeling? Go with the guys. I love Sean, and I need him in my life. We even stayed together and did long distance when he moved with his mom to Texas. But last year, everything changed because I'm pregnant. Sean moved back from Texas when we found out our baby girl was on the way. She's moving. <laughs> she actually. And for now, we're staying at my parents' house, even though it's already so crowded. I see you have your car seat ready and blankets. I don't see any receiving blankets. What are you going to do for mm -hmm. receiving blankets? They were in here. You have diapers already? He thinks you only have to go once a month. Probably right with no. probably like two times a month. <laughs> I got big boxes, big old boxes. Not where, where even. Are they? Like six. Where are they? Is it in the car. No, you big only, boxes. It only has two hundred diapers in it though. Two hundred diapers and six hundred wipes for now. That should be good to start. So where's your mom? She's coming soon. When the baby's born, you know, with this whole COVID thing, we can't all be there the way we usually yeah. are. There's usually like 50 of, of us in the freaking hospital room. Like, it's not going to be like that. You think she's going to get mad because maybe she can't be there? Um, no. I need my mom for the, if I got the epidural because I'm underage, but I think your mom would understand because obviously that's my mom. You all need to think about, I mean, where, do you have a baby coming? Like, where are you going to put her? Was be chilling. You all need to grow up within the next couple of days. Like uh, you have a baby I've coming. Grown up. About like you what? have a baby coming. Like you need to know things. I don't expect you all to know this because you a have never gone through this, and then b I mean, you are babies having a baby. I mean, there's just so much you guys need to do. I think you all are not prepared enough. I don't feel ready to have a baby, and getting pregnant was very unexpected. My parents were really upset. I became a mom before I really was ready to, so I always told my, my girls, go out, see the world, do your thing, don't get tied down with the child. You're, so there's going to be time to have a baby later. Even though my family is big, I'm still really close with all of them. My brother Ricky has always looked out for me. With my family, there's so many of us, and parents having to work, we were left at home to take care of the younger kids. We grew up, and I took care of these babies, and Selena is one of those babies. Since I've been pregnant, he's been really supportive. He even offered to let me and Sean move into his house because he knows how crowded things are at my parents. Being around so many people, like, really gets to you after a while, and it just, like, it's overwhelming, so. I'm really excited for once the baby gets here, then we'll be able to move in with Ricky because I've always wanted her to like have her own place. Even though Ricky is trying to help, it sometimes rubs Sean the wrong way because he doesn't like being told what to do. Sean is my first love, and I'm glad that my parents let him move in when we found out we were pregnant. But being away from his mom has been really hard because she has a condition that causes her excruciating pain. About four years ago, I had a surgery to correct an injury on my jaw. During the surgery, the trigeminal nerve on both sides of my face were damaged and is by far the worst 
pain to live in. I've been through years of being in the hospital, treatment, medications, and now my only option is to figure out how to live on my own or go pick up medication to end my life. Mary's condition has affected Sean a lot emotionally, especially after Mary told him she's considering assisted suicide. It's um, called a suicide disease because people that usually are diagnosed with it, they can't even, they don't even really last like two years because they can't even handle the pain. So being here, it feels like I'm like betraying my mom. I know that like I need to be here for my baby, but like, in my eyes, like I'm gonna always have my baby. Like I should be in Texas, like helping my mom with whatever she needs help with right now. With the baby coming next week, Mary is driving to Colorado so she can be here for the birth of our daughter. Hi, mom. So I'm packing up like your desk, your TV stand. Is that stuff that you want there right now? Just my bed. Just your bed. You're gonna be here in like a couple days, right? Yeah, I am. Um, I might leave tonight. Okay. It's gonna take me longer than normal just because you know this is the. Yeah. Because I know the pressure even going up and down hills hurts your face. I think it's gonna be better if I just get a hotel for the first few days that I'm there. I love you. I'll call you soon. I love you too. Okay, I miss you. I miss you too. I'll see you soon. I love you. Be strong. I love you. I'll call you soon. Give me the kisses. Yay, yeah, mommy! Give mommy good sugars. No, like this. Mm -hmm. It's your birthday! Yay!